Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with Fishing Sim World, and I am here at a lake in Austria called Bergsee, and this lake is important because it is the first lake that you come to when you are fishing for the Predator Tournament, and this is the qualifying lake, so I will tell you, this lake is kind of tough. I came here one time, I tried to do the Predator Tournament without ever seeing the lake and failed miserably because this lake has no cover <laughs> that I can find. I've been to quite a few of the pegs, but there's no weeds, there's nothing. So this is a challenge. This is very much a challenge, but the trouble is, well not the trouble, the good thing is, is that people you're competing against are going through the same thing you're going through. But we're going to go ahead and try this peg because I have a tried this one all right well there's a tree over here that's that's not bad that's something anyway all right we're gonna go ahead and claim this peg right here and I'm gonna go ahead and let's see set this one out We're going to see just what swims in these waters. I've got a mixture of different baits here, guys, so something. A little bit of something for everything, I guess, is what I'm trying to say, but I'm definitely putting this one right over here. Oh, wow didn't take too long. Now see, the thing is though, if it's carp... That's the only trouble. I don't know which one it is. Here it is. I was guessing that it was number one. Now the tournament, you can only catch European perch and pike. So you are limited to what you can go after. This isn't a big fish. So it might be a European perch. I don't know. We'll see here in a minute. Whoa. I don't think it is, though. It looked like it might be a bream. But then I just got a quick glance at it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a bream. It's not a bad bream. No, it's not bad at all. All right, we're going to, I think we're going to change up our bait on this particular one here. That's going to be more focused on, yeah, let's use these white maggots. That, my friends, also the hook's a little bit on the big side, so we'll take that down to this and now we're getting number two. Oh man well at least we're getting plenty of activity yeah I tried the lure fishing and I managed to catch a couple of European perch but nothing major yeah this baits gonna have to change too the bream do not count Well, we get to see what's lying in these waters. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and change the bait on this as well. We're going to go after... We're going to use these. That seems to be very popular with the smaller fish. We use this blowback rig rod number three as soon as I can get it in yeah with what we got we're going to be catching bream and carp now if we were doing a carp competition that'd be fine but like I said I kind of want to get a feel for what's around here 
what they go for. Before I take on a tournament and make a complete fool out of myself. Yeah, see, that's another Breen. A lot of Breen out here. Seems to be the commonality. Come on. Okay, he is, he might be fairly good size. He's giving me a bit of a fight. Finally. Man, he was a tough one to get in. Oh, okay, that's not even a bream at all. <laughs> that's a leather carp. I'll be darned. Wow, personal best leather carp. After those tiger nuts, I'll tell you. Yep. We're going to toss this out there and see what we get. Maybe we can get a European perch. I'm not going to throw this one out too far. And this one... This is just a regular maggot. I'm going to put this kind of close on this side. All right, guys, I am back. I decided to, after checking the tournament, I found out that the conditions are going to be clear with a clear sky and with morning, so that may affect the way the fish bite too. So I've went ahead and got a different set of gear. I basically have one lure or spinning spin casting rod right here, and we're going to use that to see if we can't bring in some of the fish. But right now I'm going to go ahead and set these down. Two feeder rods. Now this one I'm going to go ahead and change up. Instead of white maggots, I'm going to put on here... Oh wow, imitation prawns. We're going to put a little bit bigger hook on here. Number six, we'll see how well this does. What the heck happened? I guess he got off because it's no longer set. That's kind of weird. All right, we're going to toss that out there. Grab number two. Oh, wow. I didn't even have a chance to set any of the other rods. Kind of curious to see what this guy is. Yeah, it also switched pegs because 
seemed like I was catching a lot of brim, uh, bream over there, and it looks like I've got a, either a bream or a carp this time, too, doggone it. Yeah, we may only be able to get these other fish, with, but I know they will fish off the, I mean, get the fish off the bottom, too, but... What the heck is this? This thing is straining my rod pretty good. It's I, I think it's a carp. It's too big to be anything other than that. Let's see. There we go. We got him. Come on. Yep, a large common carp. And I reached level 19. I got that with the Dendrobana worm. Alright, we're going to toss that right back out there again. Yeah, the European perch should go for that too. Let me see. This is the oh yeah, these are the imitation prawns. We're gonna toss that out a ways, see if we can't get a pike interested. And then number three is our lure rod. Which one is it? Number two again. Well, they like those dendrobana worms, or whatever they call them. Ah, there, we got something different. What we got here? Oh, got a little, uh, little, is that a root? Yep. At least get them in fairly quick. Now I've got a special kind of lure on here that should entice... Oh, jeez. Okay, this is the imitation prawns. Whoa. Kind of curious to see what goes after imitation prawns. Sounds like something that pike would go after, but then again, carp go after just about everything. They're omnivorous, so we shall soon see. Still haven't got a good enough look at him to see what he is. Ooh, it's a tench. Large one, too. Personal best, 13 pounds. Yeah, I'd say it was my personal best. Man. Yeah, he's kind of nice. He's a kind of nice. I'm going to get a picture of him because that is my personal best after all. Alright, let's throw this one back out. The only thing with lure fishing is that you can only fish with one at a time. <laughs> That's why I was hoping the feeder rods would kind of assist. This may be really the only way you can do it, you know? Okay, this is a top floating 
bait. So we're going to have to do a little bit of twitching on this one. Perfect strike. There we go. And that, my friends, looks like a European perch. There we go. Nice. Very, very nice. Personal best, too. Not too bad. Okay, well, I know that lure is going to work for these guys, so that's perfect. Let's give her another try. Alright, let's see if we can change... That's the pencil bait. Let's see, do I have a spoon? Oh, let's try this shockwave. I want to see what that does. Soft plastic. And it sinks like the rattle trap, which is actually kind of good. Let me go ahead and... So we want to do a nice slow retrieve on this. European perch is one that I'm not familiar with. I mean, I fished in it on Russian fishing, but on there it seemed like they went. F oh, poor strike. Uh, let's keep it up. That might be a pike, guys. Look at it. Torpedo shape. Yeah. I think we got us a pike. One thing that bothers me is that this was a poor strike, so he could get off the hook. Come on, you little bugger. Yeah, this is a pike. He's fighting way... Damn, that's what I was afraid was going to happen. Ugh. Damn it. That's what I was afraid was going to happen. Stupid poor strike. Oh, no, I kind of got complacent there for a minute because I was, hadn't been getting anything for a while. Yeah. I got to change his speed. I keep doing that. There we go. Ooh, perfect strike. Okay, this is... Ah, oh, jeez, now I got another one. Let's see here, guys. I don't know what we got here, but he is... seriously making a run for it. And we're not making any headway on him. You bring him this way. Okay, let's put a little more tension. Now, since that was a perfect strike, this shouldn't get off this hook as easily. Okay, let's force this guy in there. I think we got us a pike, guys. I think we got one. Yep. Oop. We don't want to lose him. There we go. Well, he's kind of tiny, but he's a pike. <laughs> Almost looks like a chain pickerel. At 8 pounds, 4 ounces. So, yep, the red crawfish has always been a good, good lure in real life. I've I gotta find out what the heck is up with this number one here.
Yeah, I think I put uh, wax worms or something like that. White worms, white maggots, something. I know in Russian fishing and fishing planet, the European perch went for that, and I think that might be what I have here. I don't know, it could be a tinch too. I saw a flash of gold, but. Well, he's a feisty little bugger. There we go. Yeah, I had a feeling it was a tinch just because the way he was fighting. And he is seriously pale. Caught him off the pinkies. Alright, let's see. Let's try this a little closer to shore, though. see if I can what did I have on here for bait it's rod number two yep got the blowback rig well maybe it just wasn't biting at that point I'm gonna just barely toss this out here just off of shore Oh, number one, the pinkies again. Yeah, I want to find the perfect feeder rod bait for the European perch. And so far, haven't quite found it. Most of what I'm getting are other species. If this turns out to be another tench, whoa. Getting all kinds of activity here, guys. Yeah, I think this is another tench, but I think he might be a little reddish in color. Or orange, maybe? Oh, wow, he's bright orange. It's a big one. Trophy catch. Nice. Alright, let's see what number two has on it. Yeah, the white maggot should be the perfect perch bait, but we'll, we're going to find out here. I don't know. He's fighting pretty hard. Can't tell just yet. That might be a perch. Nope. Another tench. A lot of tension here, guys. Well, I have to figure out where these guys are. That's all I know. But I think we're going to have to get ready to call this an episode, but. We are going to keep at it. I am going to try to figure out exactly what these guys are going to be going for. So I am determined to win a tournament, or at least qualify. Let's 
seems like those hiker over on this end things. Let's let it sink. I think we got us our European perch here, guys. There we go. Yep. Sure enough. And this was off of the pinkies. So I think this is the pinkies and the white maggots are a good choice. They seem to be attracting them, but you know, it does get other fish too, but try to stay in close to shore. Then we use the rattle trap to focus on the the pike. There we go. Number one, the pinkies again. Oh wow, we got us another European perch who's really spastic. Now if I get another European perch with this, I think we may have the right combination of, of baits and possibly lures. Yep. I think we got one. Well, let me see here. No, it's a rud. Yeah, guys, I think we got some good options here. I think this is going to be what we're going to have to work with. We just need to kind of go around the different parts of this lake, try to figure out which of the hubs are the best. And we'll see what we can do about winning a tournament. There we go. There we go. It's a good way to end this, guys. And it is a pike. Yes. <laughs> Ooh. And he isn't... He isn't bad. We're gonna have to get him in. <coughs> this may be some fighting going on here. thing is that was a good strike jeez yeah this guy's no wimp
Okay, I think I might have him in, coming in, guys. Yep, there he is. Now that's not a bad pike. That's a lot better than the other ones we got. 14 pounds, 3 ounces. Not a trophy, but he is a pike. And that is good enough for me. Alright, guys. I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with another episode of Fishing Sim World. So until then, guys, always remember, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.